guys, welcome back to a, another review um, of Big Brother. Let's do the intro. Go. Hey YouTube, what is it, Shari? I'm Anime. I'm Shay. Okay. And you're watching Shikane TV. TV. So let's do some housekeeping. Guys, if you can follow our social media it's on that side, follow our Twitter, X, our Facebook, <laughs> our YouTube. Okay, I don't know what guys. happened there, guys. So Sorry, we're back. We're back. Drunk okay, yeah, we're back. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Is it, the, is it the same thing? Can I carry on? Yeah, go on, carry on. All right. So, guys, follow our social media. So, our Twitter X, our um, Facebook, our Instagram, and follow our YouTube and our Vivo because we do yeah. it. So, guys, um, yeah, so check out our Spotify, our Instagram, our um, iTunes, our Pandora, <laughs> whatever, any platform, even Amazon. Check out our music. So, guys, today's oh. episode, rate it one to ten. Yeah. I rate today's episode a three. I Why? Think, I think it's quite obvious that Trish was a really big character in the house. Mm. And now they're trying to force this fake, yeah, Harmon this, this, yeah. this fake love story. In a harmonious house. Yeah. All of a sudden. All of a sudden, everyone loves each other. Mm. And, you know, so for me, I feel like, I feel like, it, it just showed how big a character Trish was in the house. You know, I think, I don't, I don't personally think she not added anything. Do you know what I mean? So I don't think she I don't know if that's true. What do you say? Uh, well, I'm, I'm just giving my opinion. Yeah. I don't think, I don't think if Chanel had stayed or if Chanel, Chanel left, I don't think the dynamics of the house would have changed. I think if Jenkins left, mm. I think that group would be boring. Or if Olivia left, I think that would have made a difference. But I don't think, I don't think it, I don't think it mm. matters whether Chanel's left. However, I think there's there's a visible shift in the house now that Trish isn't there because I think Trish was a huge personality and she spoke to everybody in the house and I think it's noticeable that everybody is forcing conversation with each other. Yeah, I agree with the I agree with Trish being a really really big um character in the house and it being noticeable, but don't you think that if Chanel had stayed that Chanel would have amped up the bitch in? Yeah, but it's boring. Yeah. She's not. She's not even oh, funny. Yeah. Jenkins is funny. Jenkins is funny and bitchy. Yeah, like, Chanel like when, is just a bitch. Yeah, like when mm. Jenkins was like, like, like Chanel's bitching was coming across mean. Yeah, it was mean. It, it was very spiteful. But for me, even though Jenkins and Tom are bitchy, I feel like they're a little bit entertaining with it. Mm. So I don't think Chanel is missed. No, I don't. Okay, um, so most people, I think the highest one we've got is. Bradley said a six. Yeah, that's six. pretty high, Bradley. Wow. Okay. And then obviously most people have voted it kind of like you, anime. They're kind of like low votes. Yeah. Guys, we're gonna do a quick phone in after um, when we finish doing the round up. We're gonna take three calls. So fastest fingers first. Take the text. Um, send a, send a WhatsApp message with your name and location, and we'll call you back. And you read the pinned comment, guys, because you look it's still in capitals. Phony. Is it in capitals? I've put capitals, I put caps. <laughs> Just check, read it properly, and you'll yeah. understand. So, basically, guys, we know that a lot of you have been tweeting us and want to, you know, give your opinion on um, what happened over the last couple of days with Trish. So, hence why she wasn't on Late in Live. So, um, and also, as well, one of her team um, confirmed today that. Um, because there was a lot of speculation on the T pages that ITV asked Trish not to attend late in live, and basically, um, Trish's team basically confirmed that no, Trish made a decision not to attend for her mental health and to basically to get herself together. So, you know, hopefully, mm -hmm. she does, she is given the opportunity to um apologize verbally because she's she's already released a written apology so hopefully she's able to do that but we'll get into the detail later on because some of you joining might not know what we're talking about but let's let's talk about the episode and, and then we can talk about um yeah uh, okay oh, <laughs> i'm trying to stay positive guys all right so um oh I'm sorry one more thing guys can you like this video please like this video and can you share it we're we're streaming on facebook so can you share it on your facebook pages and wherever, it's just so that we can get more people in the room. Sorry, Kay. That's all right. Uh, okay, so it was basically, um, it was just before, it was pre-eviction. So, every, you know, the housemates are in the living room and the, they first announced Chanel that she was going. 
she <laughs> left. And then they, they, I feel like there was a lot of prelog before mm. Chanel left. Um, Chanel before uh, Trish left. Obviously, they were hearing the um, the cheers of Trish outside. That the Trish to saying, win. Trish to win. Yeah. Like obviously the house was like that. Like you know. And obviously Trish was getting the feeling a bit amped. Like she's feeling a bit, yeah, she's gonna go that and whatever. <laughs> so then the next minute they announced that, she, <laughs> that she's going. <laughs> the way everyone was at. That. Mm. Like everyone was fun. Like you could just see everyone was fun. So anyway, yeah. Uh, Trish left. I don't know if did anything happen before that. Uh, no, nothing. Nothing really happened. I mean, like you said, obviously they were shocked mm. that she left because based on the crowd um, loving her, yeah, cheering and all of that, you know, it was a bit of a shock. Mm. I think there's. I, I think so. So right now, there's there's two schools of thought. There's one school of thought that. ITV knew that the news was going to break about um, Trish's old tweets coming out. And that's the reason why they basically evicted her. And then there's another school of thought from what we saw online is that the Facebook mums basically banded together and they mass voted her out. Um, I think it's possible for both to be true. Yeah, I think, I think it's the latter. Yeah, I, cause, because the thing is, I, I, I don't... I don't. I think ITV have always known about the tweets. Yeah, I, I don't. Yeah. I don't think it was a surprise to them. Yeah. The only reason why they became because people are, are feeling that oh, how come it only came out when she got evicted? The reason why is because her social media was private. That's why you couldn't see it. So when she made it her social media public, then obviously the tweets were exposed. So there's no conspiracy there. No, her, she, her, her Twitter wasn't private. Her Twitter's always been open. Has. Her Instagram was private. Yeah, she made her Twitter private after. Yeah, stuff. Yeah, her Twitter's out. always been open. That's, okay, that's how well, I found it. Yeah. well, then, well, well, in in that case, then, then ITV definitely knew then. They definitely. So knew. I, I, I think ITV kept her in the house long enough to get the views and to get the traction, mm. and then obviously they couldn't allow her to win because it was looking like she was going to win. Yeah, knowing that this is the kind of stuff that was going to come out. That's so, that's what I, I mean. think happened. So somebody sent us a really really long tweet. Sorry, not a tweet, like a DM in our Twitter. Yeah. And that person basically said kind of what the two schools are for. So basically, when you go on these shows, um, ITV asks you to, to submit your social media. And they basically have a team that investigates people. So like with Paul's OnlyFans and with all of that, that they, they already know most things about the person because they... Um, they investigate people's digital footprint. Mm. So like Shay saying, ITV probably knew about it, especially because her t- her Twitter was open. It wasn't, it, it wasn't, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, saying I'm, it, it I'm, wasn't open. Yeah, I, it wasn't open. Someone said, oh, Royal, Royal May is saying that um, she opened her Twitter once she came out. Yeah, her, her Twitter wasn't open. The amount of hate that Trish was receiving, if her Twitter was open, those tweets would have been exposed. Like, there's just no way. Even Paul's OnlyFans, it was people that had screen recorded his OnlyFans. Like, there wasn't any digital footprint of Paul. It no, I think had... he mentioned it on his, um, you know that most of the accountants on TikTok? Hmm? Yeah. You know most of the accountants on TikTok? Oh, yeah. They have two, yeah. They have two um, TikTok they, pages. They yeah. have their normal one mm. and then they have their accountant one yeah. where they get customers. Yeah. I think he has stuff on his account. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, even so, the point I'm making is, is that most of their, all of their social medias are closed until they come out. And I think that's the reason why she wasn't exposed. So I don't necessarily think there's a concern. But having said that, though, ITV would have seen it before she'd gone yeah, into the house. For sure. So, yeah. You know. So, you know, it is, it is what it is. I mean, for, for, for me, I think that I think that the, the conspiracy um, rhetoric only comes in into it if it's not true. Mm. In the sense that um, like obviously you can say that ITV knew, therefore it's kind of like this whole thing has kind of like helped in a way because it just makes them that everything, you know, scandal always helps push something in it. Mm. So it's almost like everybody's talking about it. So it's helping their it's helping it in a way. Like it's scandal always helps things become more popular. Mm. So in a way, they knew that this would help. So it's possible that they knew and they just let everything just blow up so that they can capitalise off of it. Mm. That's very possible. However, they wouldn't have anything to capitalise off if it wasn't true. So, unfortunately, yeah. it's just it's just one of those things. I mean, 
ultimately, anybody that wants to go on these reality shows, whether it's Love Island, Big Brother, any kind of love, any kind of reality show, before you even apply, if if you're somebody that was on Twitter in the early 2000s, mm. you need to delete your Twitter. Exactly. You need to delete it because, because that, it, it seems like it seems it seems like a thing. Yeah. 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 People were just reckless with their mouths it's in, in the, you know, and it, it, the timeline. I don't think there's a there's there's definitely not a coincidence with the fact that all of these tweets that, that get, get exposed, yeah that yeah. get exposed are around the same time. Mm. It's definitely I would say it's from early 2000s to mid to, to um, 2010s. Yeah. So... No, it's no, it's like... I'd say, oh, which is pre-2020. And I think during 2020, people were re- reckless. Yeah. No, yeah. 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 Well. Everyone yeah. was at home. Everyone was just yeah. tweeting away. Yeah. Yeah. But it just feels like early, early Twitter times, it feels like people were very... People were not PC. Mm. They would literally go on Twitter and just be as wild as they could be mm. and just say the most wild things. And like Shay saying, it's like it's not a, it's not a coincidence that anytime people get exposed on Twitter, if they get their tweets are always around that time, mm. it's always around 2010, 2011. It's always that's when the worst, and then it kind of like gets less and less salacious you know, the newer and newer the tweets get. But around that time, there's like a four, three, four year period when people were just wild mm. on Twitter. So um, anyway, yeah, so. Uh, where are we up to? It was boring. I think they had a oh. couple of games. Oh no, what was the, what was the task? Union went in the diary room. She, oh, she cried, she cried, she cried. yeah. Mm. And then, um, yeah. And then uh, <laughs> Henry and Jordan said bye to Trish. Oh, I actually thought that, that, was, that was that was quite yeah. funny. They use Trish a lot. They use Trish's they, names a lot. This a time. lot. Yeah, they can't can't live without her. Yeah, but yeah, it, it was cute. But anyway, um, oh, okay. So I've got here. Uh, Jordan joins Tom and Henry in the in the hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time he went in hot tub, really. Mm. So um, apparently he hadn't been in the hot tub since. So mm. you know, he said, "You guys should feel privileged that I'm in here." Oh, he hasn't been in there before. I think. Yeah, he'd yeah. never been in there until um. I think he said he'd never been in a hot tub. Yeah, period. period. I thought that was Yimri who said she'd never been in a hot tub. No, I think, I think to well. today he said he'd never been in one before. Mm. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. What else have I got? That night, innit? It, it oh, was when they yeah. when they had their first... See, he, he wanted to tell Henry a secret. Yeah. Mm. So that's when <laughs> that was so cool. <laughs> that was so cool. Jordan is a user. He's a hot, right? He's Jordan a is horny. Mm. Right? Because you've already gone into the diary room. And said that Henry is not your type. You, you, you even fancy Chanel more than you fancy Henry. Mm. You've said it a few times that it's platonic, but yet you still lips it. It's, he's horny. He's just he's he's horny. Like, hold on, though. Mm. Knowing that Henry actually does like him, mm. I think he's, he's like, and Henry was feeling sweet. Mm. Just I'm gonna, gonna kiss, kiss him. Yeah. I'm gonna kiss him like that. <laughs> like, acting, yeah. like a, yes. acting like a side chick. Yeah. <laughs> acting like a side yeah. hen. He was oh. he was henning away. I was crying. hen. Where he was blushing, he quite he can't believe his luck. Mm, he was acting like a woman that's been mm. as a crush on somebody for so long, and then that person finally gives you a tiny bit mm, of it, even though in your up. heart, even in the bottom of your heart, you know that he's using you. Yeah, exactly. That's right. Like, this like, is Henry. Henry knows he's being used, mm, but he can't help yeah. it. Well, he said it in the diary room, innit? He went in there when in the morning, and Big Brother asked him, oh, what happened last night? Yeah. You know, and then he said, you know, we had a bit of a kiss. And then at the end, he ended it by saying, you know, if Jordan starts misbehaving again, then we'll have, have to have word. words. You're not going to have anything. You just lips continue. You're not going to have anything. Up. Henry's a mistress, mm. like someone said. He's mistress a mistress. He's a mistress or he's a poor, long suffering wife. Mm. That basically Henry Henry would keep on going to the bush. Sorry, Jordan would go to the bushes or to the toilet. Abby's wherever, fun. Wherever he goes and to, to go and get Abby's bang. Mm. And then he'll come home to a cook meal from Henry. Mm. That's basically what that's going to be. <laughs> mm. it's true. Come home to some veal. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Venice. So hold yeah. on. Was it? Was it? Was it when they were in the hot? In the hot? Because the hot tub wasn't. It's the second time. Yeah. Two, yeah, that's two goes. So the the night time one. Obviously, they were holding hands at one point, and then mm-hmm. they mm-hmm. kid lips up again, mm-hmm. and then um Jenkins. Jenkin. He said, "Oh, <laughs> what's going on there?" Then mm-hmm. or whatever. He caught them in, and then he scurried away. That mm-hmm. was quite funny. But yeah. Uh, okay. And then. I think, what, did anything else happen in that? So the uh, morning came, and that's when you went to the day. Mm. Right? Yeah, sorry, quick, we got a super chat from Noah. Oh, Thank oh, you so much, Noah. Noah. It says, ITV likely thought she would cause chaos as most of her tweets were reflected mm. in BB in BB's contestants' choices. 
Mm, they true. also knew, yeah, they mm. also knew people would not watch after Trish. Mm. That's a very good point. Yeah. The fact they knew they saw all the tweets, mm. they probably did think that she would bring it. And obviously, her saying, I'm a feminist at the inner mm. um, VT, saying, I don't like Tories. They must have thought she was going to bring some hell. But she life. brought it for but she brought it in a different way, though, innit? Mm. She did the exact opposite of yeah. what they thought she was going to do. And then yeah. they brought the drama to her. Yeah. They were probably trying to um, oh, rile her up. Trying to rile her yeah. up. But they thought she was going to mm. live by Ooh. what she was saying on her page. Very good. No, Not realizing she's changed. I never thought that. Actress, she's changed. a reformed woman. You know what I mean? So, if that ain't a, if that ain't a sign of reform, mm, I don't well know. Well done, Noah. That's that's, mm. that's that's a really good um really good um opinion there. Exactly. Okay, go on. so in the morning, that's when um Big Brother gave them the task to clean the house. So mm. um yeah, so basically Big Brother just I made like a the mess. Tasks. It was cool. Mm. It was actually cool, and then they, they put like a load of uh, coloured balls in the. I don't even know, but it was just above the stairs. Mm. Oh, that was hell. But anyway, yeah, so they had to clean everything up. There was balls everywhere. And then, um, yeah. You had a video or no? Nah. All right. <laughs> and then, uh, okay, so in uh, breakfast time, so in the kitchen, Jenkin basically revealed that Jordan and Henry had a kiss. Mm. He literally told the whole house. And um, yeah. So then I think that Jordan moved, he took his sausages to the table. Mm. And he... <laughs> he said, oh, I like to eat my sausages. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess I don't let it draw attention. I was like, huh? You literally are drawing attention. But anyway, yeah. Then um, Big Brother filled. Bleh. So I got this bit. Um, oh, hang on. Jordan and Henry talk in the bedroom. Oh, they kiss again? Yeah. Oh, no. So they were talking in the bedroom. And this is when they were blaming Trish. Mm. It was quite funny. Humorous. But they were like, oh, this is all Trish's fault. So whatever. Um, I can't remember what Henry said. But that, I thought that was quite funny. And then... Um, it was the next uh, task, I think. So where Big Brother filled the bathroom with foam. Oh, oh. that was disgusting. I oh, couldn't even you, watch you, that you, shit. Yeah, That's, I've never understood that. So Kay's Kay's got a um. I have a phobia. She's of got a phone. phobia. Of Not phone. even a phobia. It's just it makes me feel sick. It, it reminds me of you know that like holes. What's that one called? But I don't. I, don't, but I feel oh, like I don't get that same thing though. Yeah. Because Kay, even like if you've got a drink and there's a little bit of foam on your drink, like she's. Got it's a, a specific it. drink as well. Though. If it's like if there's foam in like coffee and all that, I don't like froth. I don't like foam. She don't like that. She don't like seeing old people eating chicken either. Mm. Not species. chicken. It's more well, soup. Yeah. And so beans. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's specific things. I, I, I thought it was chicken. Fried chicken and beans. But Why it's, fried it's chicken? Not all... <laughs> it's not all what. It's no, not I know what you mean. I know what you mean by. Yeah. I, know, I know what you mean by baked beans. Yeah, because they're like things are the juice, like, like the. the... <coughs> Why are we talking about things are sauce and all of that, like coloured sauce? Just, yeah, I can't. It's supposed to be for sick. But anyway, the phone <laughs> thing is that's that's a big one because I can't even touching it. Some people must get it though, because it can't. I can't just be me. I mean, I don't like seeing people. Yeah, I don't like seeing Pete seeing. Not the food. I'll throw it a phone. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that's I don't the get the phone and all that. That's the. I'm alone with that one. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So they had to. They, they had to clean up the house from balls, and then they had to clean up the house with bubbles. Or something. Yeah. yeah. And then, uh, okay. There's another one where Big Brother made them clean the garden. I think there were llamas in there and that's a clean Oh, up well, I didn't like that. That was, mm. that was like my worst. Like I could see why, like, like when um um Olivia, I think it was Olivia, Jordan, and Jenkins were scared. Mm. Like I was thinking that would be me. Like, I, would, I, I, I wasn't even going. I would, yeah. I would lock myself in the house. <laughs> like, you, lot, there. <laughs> you lot do what you're need to do. Yeah. I'm good. Let me know when you're done. Yeah, I'll I'm sorry. I can't. I can't do animals. And them animals were big. Mm. No. They were huge. And the way they were looking, the way they were looking, and no. Olivia was actually making. See, this is what annoys me about Olivia. Like today, they she gave her the same. best edit, mm. and she was actually funny. But what did we say though? Oh, no, we said that if she don't go, yeah, they're yeah. gonna give her a redemption arc, and mm. that's what they're doing. Yeah. To be fair, they started a redemption arc before. Yeah, Trish left. Anyway. She's probably gonna win. Yeah, she's got a good chance of winning. For sure, she's got a good chance of winning. So, um, yeah. okay, and then what else? Uh, okay, so they won the task, and then um, they got a spa treatment. So mm. the whole housemate, all the housemates had like a spa treatment. Um. And what's his name? Jenkins was just moaning the whole time. Mm. Like, you don't like spas. You don't like robes. You don't. No like one's going to massage him. No, no one's, one's gonna robbing do this. me. I'm not robbing anyone. Yeah. I, I, I do think Jenkins is definitely has like um he's I don't think he's comfortable with his body. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I think a lot of the comments that he makes is definitely reflective of that. Mm. Um, you know, but, and I think but he's bumble. Yeah. Mm. 
Yeah, and then Yin Ren really gave um well he's comfortable with his bum, isn't it? Mm. So he's not, he's not comfortable with everything else, but he's comfortable with his bum. Mm. But anyway, um Yin Ren gave Matty a massage. Oh god. Um so she's struggling upstairs, him, isn't it? Struggling him and cranking his back and all yeah. that. So everyone was watching. When they when they get on the bed, you know the massage is gonna be good. When they straddle you, you just know the massage is going to be good. There's one there's I one place I go to in Canary Wharf and the woman is tiny, but when she stands on the bed and she trust me, breaks your back. I haven't had the one straddling. Yeah, yeah. I haven't had the one They normally lean Trust over. Me. Yeah, I've had, had the lean. Yeah. She no. stood on the bed. This wow. woman stood on the bed. I yeah. rub your pussy on my back. <gasps> She didn't rub her pussy on my back. But how did she shrug you then? Was there pussy on your back? She like. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we saying this? Where's the trick? If you push the trick, she was shrugging you. But she she got she on the bed. Me. She stood on the bed. Yeah, like she, but yeah. she ain't gonna be sitting on you. The way Yinra was sitting. Yinra, 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 that's what I said. I hope she got knickers on. Oh. Yinra was sitting on Henry. Look, me not business. Okay. Sorry, not Henry. Um, um, Matty. Me not business. To be fair, that's the Just same move that Matty did to Paul. Remember? Yeah, Matty did the same move. All right, and then you know, okay, I wrote that down. You know, give her a massage. Someone mm-hmm. said they work in Canary Wharf. What's it called, Jay? Huh? Why? Obviously, oh, you would yeah. know. Why it. you, you want know, Ray? Know? Ray Victoria Jones. What right? are you up to, girl? Why you want to know, Ray? <laughs> Why they do? I'll Ray? let you know. All right, so then this is horrible. What? what are you talking about? That's gorgeous. The drink is lush. Anyway, and then all her. Oh. She said she loves a good massage. Yeah. What's it called? She has a good fanny on her. I'm guessing. I'm guessing. <laughs> you want a fanny on your back? Right? Like, you want a fanny on your back? Don't you, right? right? <laughs> you know your soul. You want a fanny on your back? <laughs> it's like, oh, the drink is kicking. All right, where are we? Okay, yeah. So I think they go to hot tub again, and then they dare Olivia dares uh, Jordan and Henry to lips up in the to hot tub. Like they ain't done it. Before. Like they need. Like they needed it. You know what I mean? Well, before that dare, oh. they had already kissed. That's what I mean, twice. No, no so in, the hot in the hot tub. And it was in the hot tub where oh, wait, no, no, um, uh, Jordan, while Henry was talking, Jordan said, yes, platonic. Where did I? He's, he's the, way, he's the way he snuck that in. He's yeah. like, oh, he basically, he basically you, know what he does, you know what I mean? He does that thing when, he, when he's like that, when he's, mm. when he's like looking behind his back. Mm. Yeah, I mean, so he was like, yeah, you know, I don't want it. I, I don't want things to get, yeah. you know. It's platonic. I, I, I just don't, he said, I don't, I don't want to get tied in. Yeah, yeah. That was the first time. Well, not the first time. The first time today. Because he keeps on telling, finding ways to tell Henry we're just friends. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and don't, 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 don't get, don't get, don't yeah, get this Don't get too sweet. We make kiss. And he's, oh, he just so you know, we, we can kiss. We can do things, but it's not. This ain't going nowhere. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? I, I just, I just want to get my feels. Do you know what I mean? So if you can handle that. Henry's like, no, no, totally. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, don't worry. Henry's a fool. You're not contracting blood. Yeah. Yeah. Let me you tell you something. Him. You know what Henry, Henry acts like? Henry, Henry acts like, like anime said, the long suffering wife that <laughs> his uh, husband does not touch because he sleeps outside. Yeah. He's, he's, got, he's got someone outside that he bangs, and when he comes home, he just has what's for dinner. He doesn't yeah. touch his wife. <laughs> so the one day, yeah, the one he day wants he to touch his wife. Yeah. His wife is like, ah, oh, what's that? So his <laughs> wife is just happy to be touched. Yeah. That's Henry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is, oh, that's awful. Yeah, so they kissed before. Yeah. Then Jordan set him straight and said, "Look, we're just friends." Mm. Then they, everybody else came to the hot, to hot tub, and that's when they the truth or dare, mm. and then they dared them again. But it was the what made me laugh is because people were kept on saying that the way Olivia keeps on behaving every time she needs that kissing, <laughs> like if it was them, they would feel away because mm. she keeps on screaming. She had managed to run out at the top. Yeah, the but, and then obviously when she came in the room and she saw them kissing, mm. her reaction as well. <laughs> what do you think? about that because people, reaction. yeah because it was a it was a couple i've seen a couple of gay men on twitter oh they're Bas- offended yeah they're basically oh. saying that they would feel away if she was acting the way that but for me this is this is my fault yeah because i think even if like for example I Jordan, I, Jordan used to kiss Chanel a lot. Yeah. I think Chanel and was, if, I think she was screaming. Olivia was screaming no matter who. That's yeah, what that's I was about to say. That's, that's what I was about to say. I think if she came into the room and she saw Jordan lying on top of Chanel, mm. giving her a kiss. Yeah. I think she probably would have been like, mm, as well. Do. So I do think that people might be reading wrong. I mean, I, I don't know. I mm. agree. I think as much as people don't like Olivia, mm. I, I do think she would have done this anyway. Yeah. I think she anyone would. Done would. This anyway. I think anyone would. I think anybody would have been like, what? Mm. Yeah. I you know think her reaction was funny. I, I, I actually found it quite funny. But you know what, Miss? You know what is funny thing though? When they kissed in the hot tub, yeah. And Olivia got out and jumped out. Mm. Do you know what it reminded me of? 
I looked at it and I thought, it's either Olivia's got black friends mm. or, because I always look at Olivia and I think, she looks there's something you're not you're something. not you're not fully white yeah no something. we've been saying that shit yeah there's white, something yeah. there's yeah, something in you know in the water you look like you've got a couple of drops or something I but you know when black people when we laugh we're like ah it was separate yeah. that's I, like, I, when she did that, I was like, like running across the girl mm. uh, the, the, the jean in there ah! is popping out mm. <laughs> the black jean is popping oh, out God, or the so... non-white jean yeah you don't yeah know this yeah, but, but her I'm eyes, saying, are, but, eyes are giving me. But I'm saying that black yes, people do that. No. But I'm saying that black people yeah, do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? So, yeah, I, I definitely. Um, yeah, it's definitely that. I don't yeah. think it was homophobic. Yeah, yeah I don't running know. out of the tub. It's just like she was having a laugh. She was yeah. there. She was excited, didn't it? That's what it looked like yeah. to me. Okay, it's so the first bit of gist that's happening. Exactly. This. All right. So uh, another super was... chat from Noah. Ooh. Oh, um, no thank you, Noah. Thanks, Noah. Henry's grandparents are on onto the inheritance teeth. They will not pay big rent <laughs> to house a house in Scumfork. To a oh. house, <gasps> they will not pay big rent to house. Oh, to, to house, house a Scumfork, Scumfork slapper. Jordan <gasps> ah! is doing just enough to influence. Wow. Look, the thing is, yeah, Scumfork slapper. I get. I agree with you. I do think. Obviously, you know, we not not that I agree with you, but Jordan is a social climber. He yeah. is. You know, he's he, he he's admitted that. You know, however, I feel like it might be different in same sex relationships. As I in... like I don't know if they would see him dating up in the same way. And also as well, remember he's a he's a he's a um he's a professional, he's a lawyer. Yeah, he's a lawyer. So yeah. even though he might not be rich, because he's a he's a lawyer. Or he might not be old money, but, but, but no, but I'm just saying, rich. even though he might, no, I'm just saying that he might not be rich or mm. whatever, like he, like he earns a decent salary. But I think when you're a professional, like maybe a lawyer, your doctor, or something like that, I think that might be more forgiving. Yeah, rich people see you a bit differently because they see you, they see you as part of the elite, but in a different way. Yeah, yeah. So I think that it, it might be viewed differently. I mean, we all do respect Henry's a food critic. Like he's not. Ugh. Yeah, but he's probably but doing he's that for old, fun. Yeah, I yeah, think he's in old guess. money. He's got old money. Probably, yeah. probably not even a proper job. Yeah. Like, he's probably just doing a it for a bit, bit of pocket money so we can buy his bill and his champagne. And, mm. You know what I mean? Oh, we've got another super chat from Noah. Oh, Noah. Thanks, Noah. Wow. Wow. Noah, you're on you're a ball. And then uh, so I said, um, and to get one off, I was, oh, it's a continuation from the last um, super chat, I think. And to get one off, 100K he wants that. He, he has, has debt. debt. Oh. oh, okay. Who has debt? Jordan. Maybe Jordan. Oh, but yeah, because okay. people in the house have been saying, well, Jenkins and his cronies have been saying that mm. Jordan wants that money, that he's he's made it no no secret. That I mean, the weak. thing is, he doesn't come from money. And if he's a lawyer, he would have had to pay a lot of fees, a lot mm. of, you know, and that would have come out of his pocket. So he probably got a lot of student loan debt. Mm. So yeah, as, as as a lot of them in the house, I'm sure. Oh, them... no. Sorry. What? Another live feed. Another live feed. Another um, super chat from M. Mm. They're saying Jordan, Tom, and Jenkins mm. been fake evicted. Oh, what? No! And the public will vote to evict two, and the other will return yeah. to the house. So it's Jordan, Tom, and Tom, Jenkins. So I wonder which one in the public's going to say. I was so expecting the, Jordan. the public's not going to save Tom. Tom's so going in. No one nominated mm. Noki then. Well, I think she probably got nominated, but not, not enough. enough. Not yeah. enough. Yeah. That's what I mean. That's yeah. a bit shocking. But we did yeah. say that she would probably make the final because the only people that nominate her are. Um, the only people that were nominating her were um, either Henry or Henry or Jordan. Jordan. Mm. Nobody else was nominating Noki, mm. so yeah. So, so we did say she'd probably make the final. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, if, thank you, M, for that tea mm. and for the super chat. Mm. So I think then, that based on that, I think Tom and Jenkins are probably going. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think they're gonna vote Jordan, Jordan because definitely. in post, Jordan and Yinren have been first and second. Mm. That's a bit boring because I don't think anyone's going to talk about Jordan. I wanted it to be. What do you mean? Well, like, Henry's just going to be crying. No, isn't it? yeah, because what? Yeah, like you know, normally when there's a secret house or secret room, or whatever, it's normally like um, like controversial uh, housemates that go into the house and that people talk about when they've gone. Do right. you know what I mean? So if it was Noki, for example, that w- went into the house, you know, people they would be slagging her off. Yeah, something. But this one, Jordan. Mm. What are they going to be saying about Jordan? Like that you will care about. The thing is, we saw like a yeah. clip of Jordan nominating Jenkins. Jenkin. Mm. Oh, Jenkins up as well. Yeah, Jenkins there. Jenkins well, yeah. there. Ooh, oh, unless so okay. Matty's still in the house. 
and Matty nominated you all the time. Maybe mm. Matty would talk to Henry about you're yeah. assuming it. Yeah. 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 He, he, he kind of, he kind no, of, you remember, you remember he nominated Matty, Matty nominated you in the last Before, time. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think he'll definitely nominate him again, but but then, yeah, because Matty. He was in the diary room this this um episode, yeah. and he kind of alluded that too that he thinks that it's fake. He thinks that the whole Jordan, oh, really? yeah, he was kind of like, yeah, he was kind of like, oh, the, the timing's a bit. Well, he didn't even say the timing. He said that he said something about Jordan liking him, mm. and then all of a sudden realizing that he likes Henry. Yes, yeah, so he's kind of like we'll see. Yeah, we'll we'll basically see. see what yeah, happens. yeah, and I agree. Mm. I, I think it's I think it's um. Interesting timing. It's I very think, fake. You know, and the thing is, Jordan is not making a secret of the fact that he's using Henry. Mm. The only person that is in denial is Henry. Mm. So, <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, okay. okay. Hey, that's so good. That that it, um, what else have I got? Oh, Jordan was in the bedroom. Okay, yeah, so we discussed that bit when mm. um, Jordan was in the bedroom alone and then Henry walked in and then obviously Jordan yanked him over and then mm. he started lipsing up on the bed and then, you, I think Yenon was in there at that point. Yeah. <laughs> when yeah, did she come in? Because I know she no, was she'd there, been but... in there. She was in there. Oh, yeah. Okay. <coughs> yeah. And then Olivia would then walked in, and that's mm. when she was like stunned. So she was like, oh. and she just stood there. But yeah, they were lipsing up. Yeah. But this whole this whole episode was just them kissing. Mm. Just, that's literally what this whole episode was. Just gap fillers, man. Yeah. Honestly, it was boring. It was very very boring. But yeah, that's all I got. That's it. All right, guys. Well, we don't have any um any calls for the phone in, so it looks like we're signing off early today. Oh, brilliant. So let's do the um. Emoji. What's the emoji for today? Um, emoji for today. Hmm. Oh, do kisses. Emoji. Do kiss lips for do kisses. Do two, two. I was gonna say two men and two men. Up. Yeah, might as well. I think there's a lips and up. Two yeah, men there is. Up. Yeah. Oh, someone said talk about Dylan. It's nothing to talk about. Oh, okay. He just he re- he responded to Trish's um uh, story. Is well, that... I mean, he responded on his story, saying, "Ah, oh, uh, now I know why she didn't like me," or some nonsense. Yeah, he was referring to the ableism that the, the ableism tweet that Trish um, left that she tweeted something about oh when she sees disabled people she feels funny she feels funny or something so he basically used it as an opportunity for some relevancy. Nobody cares about Jordan. Nobody cares about Paul. They did. They 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 definitely definitely didn't Dylan. care about. Dylan. Sorry, Dylan. They definitely didn't care about Chanel. Do you know what I mean? I think the only oh, person Chanel. that's going to stay on people's minds for a while is going to be Trish. Yes. I personally think that everybody else is going to be forgotten. I don't think I think Trish and Noki are probably going to be, remain the most relevant. And um um Kerry. I think Kerry, Trish, yeah, I think Kerry, true, you know. Realize. Yeah, I think Kerry, Trish and Noki are probably going to be the most relevant that, that are going to have a career. Cuz I know a lot of people are saying oh they don't think Trish they think it's over for her and whatever. I don't think so. Mm. I don't think so. I, I think that if Trish is, if ITV give Trish the opportunity to redeem herself and to, you know, I think obviously it's not going to be easy because a lot of people have lost faith in Trish yeah. and they are very disappointed. However, looking at the, the, the tone online, um, the tone online is very kind of, she's apologized and we choose to believe the person we we choose to believe that she has changed her ways because we saw we saw a completely different person on t- on our screens mm-hmm. and we don't think that she could have faked that. Mm. So not for five weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 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 I think you know hopefully she's given an opportunity. So Brie has said Noki. Yes, I think Noki will have a career afterwards. And the reason why is I think that she's very poised. She's very beautiful. I think that it will be very easy for her to do a lot of the beauty influencing thing. Like yeah. I think that the, the whole, like I think that Boots, mm-hmm. um, you know, PLT, I think that it will be very easy for her to, maybe not PLT, maybe like Marks and Spencers or like a brand like that. Yeah. But I think that, you know, I see Noki doing that. Olivia, mm. uh, I think Olivia can do PLT. Can do, uh, yeah, I, I can see her doing things. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm trying to figure out, because I think she's got a personality that could go quite far on TV. Yeah. I don't know what kind of maybe presenting or I can see her yeah, doing something. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think presenting. <laughs> I think I could see Olivia doing presenting. Yeah. If Someone Olivia basically stays said, if is. if Paul bloody hell, if Paul can get a deal, anyone can. Well, you say <laughs> that. You say that. Yeah. You say that. It doesn't work the same for us though, does it? Yeah. It's wow. one, one rule for some. So you say that. Do you know what I mean? I, you know, I think. 
um, Trish is going to have to do a lot of work to repair her image. Mm. But I think it can be done. I do think it can be done. Yeah. It's just whether she's given the right advice and she she picks the right platforms to go mm. on. But my my prayer is, is that ITV give her the opportunity to ap- apologise yeah. properly. So, so guys, go on her, if you can go on her social media, she's set up a new Twitter page. So follow her new Twitter page and go on her Instagram and tell her to come on our pod. Yeah, because we, mm. we've asked, we, I've sent her, we've sent her messages. Um, we're, I've spoken to one of her friends and her friend has said that she's going to speak to her about coming on the pod. But obviously if she sees you guys you know, asking about it, then hopefully that would encourage her to to come on. So, um, so yeah. So, That's all right, it. guys. I've put, I've pinned the comment with the emojis for today, and please like the video and leave a comment on the main video as well. Mm-hmm. We appreciate you signing in today, guys. Thank you. Thank you, guys. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe, and hit the notifications button because if you miss it, you, you miss, miss it. it. Toodles.